MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news via video media. We're with Mark Jones from Leader Chuck Systems. They've got the sole distribution rights in the UK for the new Cuckoo Giovanni Bar Feed. I say new, they've been going a long time though, haven't they? They have, yeah. They were established in 1970. So that's, you know, they've seen it all by now. We're not going to present them with a problem that they haven't seen, which for us, as a new uh, distributor for them, is encouraging. I like the sound of that. So in terms of their actual bar feeds, can you tell me more about them in terms of the size, the bars? I can, certainly, yeah. They, they basically make two types of bar feeder. One would be for a single spindle CNC lathe, and the other one that they sell more of, actually, would be for, their, for the multi-spindle uh, automatic, typically uh, a Wickman or a Schutte, something like that. Um, their uh, capacities uh, are something that uh, you should ask me about. <laughs> uh, okay, they're leading into that. So in terms of bar length then, and also how much can the machines actually carry? Okay, well, the way that the machines are loaded with the bars, you would either have a, a, a gathering of bars on top in, in a magazine. We can hold 1,200 kilos of bars up top there, and they could be then fed down into the machine. Or they could be picked up from here and put into the machine. Or, or if they're just singularly put in on, a gra on some rails, gravity will just feed them in. When that one's gone, another one drops down the rail and goes and, and feeds in. So you've got your large capacity in terms of holding the bars, but what yeah. sort of shape and length of bar? Okay. Well, the standard lengths are, are um, what, what you would expect. Up to three meters, there's a couple of divisions below, 2.4, 1.3 and 3.3. But as well as that, uh, that, I've seen five and six meter length uh, bar feeders in the, in the factory. And I understand they'll actually do bespoke ones if necessary? So I'm told, yes, I've not, uh, the largest I've seen is six meters, but I'm told that they, you know, they'll do whatever's required. And then shape of bar that they'll actually handle? Okay. Uh, the shape of bars and the capacity uh, of bars. That the range of machines will cover from 10 millimeters diameter up to 120 millimeters diameter. So I understand that our, com our competitors can't go as, as large as that. Um, shapes, as you would expect, we can do round bar, we can do hexagon bar. But square bars, rectangular bars, oct octagon bars. Um, oval? Oval, Sorry. yeah, that's okay. Took oval. the words from your mouth there. <laughs> you did. Oval and eccentric shapes, you know, provided we know the uh, circle periphery diameter, we can make uh, guideways that will enable that um, eccentric shape to be fed into a machine. Right, now, so there's a lot of things that differentiate these guys, but one other point is, that what do they run in terms of lubricants? Well, that's, as you say, that's a very good point of differentiation. This is lubricant free as far as the bar goes. So it actually runs dry? It runs dry, yes. So. No complaints from people walking in put puddles of oil, no loss of coolant or loss of lubrication oil. No, no oil is necessary. Very, very impressive. So can you just give me a quick summary of Cookie Giovanni? Yeah, I think uh, for a company that are looking to automate in the UK, whether, you're, whether you've got single spindle machines or multi-spindle machines, our mantra would be to have a device that will take up the least amount of real estate next to your machine for an economic price that will give you unmanned machining 24 seven.